So this video is going to be quite different. There's no script and all I'm going to do is show you um, factual information which will allow you to come to your own conclusion about Farmworth councillor, Labour councillor Jean Gillis. Now what you're looking at here is a conversation between the Page Bolton Council, which of course I run, and Jean Gillis's daughter. I won't name her daughter's name, but it's really important you see what takes place here because this was the only conversation I had with Jean Gillis's daughter. She contacted my page, I responded, and we're going to compare to the WhatsApp Labour group chat, the secret group chat that I managed to get a copy of and show you how Jean Gillis completely lied, despicably lied, to other councillors, Labour councillors, and spread lies and rumours about what actually transpired here. And it's a great example of what kind of person Jean Gillis is. Now, I hope you'd follow it through, and let's get reading. So Jean Gillis's daughter says, I'm messaging you as I understand that you have evidence and clear legal evidence that my mum block forted. I don't really understand what that means other than I saw a video that you edited and you said that other Labour councillors were agreeing with her. In fact, my mum had a message and she was saying she had to go ASAP as her elderly 80 year old mother-in-law had a fall and she just got a message. And she is her main carer. She left after the cycle track was discussed because she needed to get home ASAP. My mum does not think that she needs to explain this to you in public, so I am. Um, if you're not sure what she's talking about, it was the time that Jean Gillis block voted with the Labour Party to get the cycle track passed, and we'll probably put a video clip in it of it here. Our response to this was to say, if I can move this, oops, sorry. You mean your mum doesn't want to be connected to the shitstorm of fraud, misuse of CEF, theft of charity land, and serious crimes that we're compiling to hand to the police? Bear in mind this is 2017, and a lot of the issues over the charity land have been resolved, not all of them, but at least they're making progress. Yeah, tell your mum not to worry, it was completely immoral what your mum did, but not illegal. By the way, you must be excited about Cliff going in May. Funny story, Cliff was due to go in May, we intentionally antagonised him so that he would stay longer, and he did. You edited a video saying stuff that mum had so-called said and that was not what the other people were nodding at but you have accused her of this block voting thing. I've tried to ring her but she's not back yet from the domestic violence case. Oh, there you go. She's not been around much because mother-in-law is ill but if you're accusing her of an offence then you should the police not be dealing with it. Block voting is voting along party lines, which your mum did. She also did it on a Labour planning application. Finally, if you keep trying to manipulate us by using this crude childlike tactic of referencing your mother's saintly behaviour in dealing with domestic violence and other saintly activities, we assure you it will not end how you expect it to end. And that is basically us saying, we'll make a video of this nonsense and show the public. And she says, is that a threat? Well, no, it's not a threat. It's just telling, we'll show the public what nonsense you're up to. As much as you would like to manipulate it into a threat because you have the characteristics of a sociopath, no, it is not a threat of violence, but a promise that your childlike behaviour will not result in the outcome that you want. And due to her being terrified of our page, she responds with, ha 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 ha, you're funny and childlike, okay love if you say so, or, and for your information, I am just giving you the truth and I am not manipulating anything. So, clearly, she's utterly terrified um, it was clearly a massive threat of violence that we're going to come round and, you know, set fire to our house or something along those lines. So let's see what Jean Gillis said to other Labour councillors. Here we go. Jean Gillis on the 9th of March 2017 says, He sent my daughter a message on Facebook saying it isn't going to end well for your mother. He picked on the wrong daughter. Ryan Quick, who's a candidate in this local election, says what a bully. Karen Lawrenson, who's the uh, secretary for Yasmin Qureshi, the MP, says, I hope you report that's the police, threatening behaviour. And Bill Kisses Marley, who's a Labour councillor in Crompton, said, I met him yesterday, first meeting. He wanted to discuss conservation projects in Crompton, primarily forward fold, uh, fold related. I hadn't heard of him until the Aston Scrutiny meeting. He's angry and he's on a mission. I also suspect he's being fed information either from Labour councillors, members, directly or indirectly via UKIP and Lib Dems. That's true, actually. <laughs> or at least it was. Jean Gillis says, Bill Kiss, he's been sending PM messages to my daughter about me. Reported to the police, but they said until he threatens violence, they can't take any action. He's one sad, sick man. Bill Kiss says to uh, Ryan Quick, 
that is completely unacceptable as other comments on the Bolton News it's referencing they keep trolling on the Bolton News comments and um, attacking members of the public Gene Gillis says I thought what he put was a threat but not according to them funny how my tyres got slashed and my front door spray painted just after that reported again but they said there was no link police have put cameras up now Ryan Quick, what can I do really? I don't mind. I've had worse. He's trying to play games and act clever and he's just coming across as a brat. Ian Coulthard, who's a Labour chair for, I think it's Smithles. He's pretending to be Ryan now and has just posted an obscene-ish post. If I were you, Ryan, I'd contact the deputy editor and say if he isn't banned, then you'd be in touch via your solicitor. He even mentioned Sainsbury's. No idea what they're talking about there, actually. Ryan Quick, on what post? On what post? Bill is to Gene, I hope your daughter has blocked him. The police camera will be there for a month and they will probably remove it. Get your own cameras installed. The cost isn't prohibitive and better peace of mind for you. Our police need to find a spine. The reason people will get away with such behaviour is because the police will only act if a crime is being committed. Yeah, that's generally the case. You actually have to commit a crime for the police to actually investigate it. And in Ryan's case, they will say that it's not a case. Well, it's not a case. Uh, for a civil action, the costs are prohibitive. Perhaps Ayrton should open up a no-win fee, no-defamation department. Well, there you go. Best friends with Ayrton still. They'd be quids in. Ryan, when I get some downtime, I'm going to be looking into social media harassment in more detail, trying to also arrange a meeting with the police to discuss further. So, there you have it. What we had was a conversation with um, Jean Gillis's daughter, in which we said, just stop being a moron. Um, pretty straightforward. Jean Gillis went away and told everyone that I threatened violence against her daughter and that I slashed her tyres. This is the kind of mentality that we have in Bolton with the Labour Party and I thought this might be just a bit informative for those who have listened to this uh, audio recording because it's not scripted, it's just telling you the facts and information so you can come to your own conclusion all there. Um, we possibly might do more of these videos, I'm not sure. But thank you for listening and if you share this, we can try and expose that people like Jean Gillis should never be elected to represent our council. Thank you for watching.